Sadgrave Sharanam. How do you do? It just means how are you doing? It's an informal way of greeting people. It's mostly used in US. When somebody asks you how do you do? You can just smile and nod your head or you can say all right, not bad, good. You can also say I'm fine but it's just outdated. So today's video we are going to practice the usage of let and let's. Not a single day passes without using these words. It means rent, it means to allow. So here we are going to practice this word for asking permission. By the end of this video, I'm pretty sure that you are going to speak English with confidence. So welcome to English Guru's brand new episode. I'm Asha Lada Srijit. So for asking permission, this one word is very, very important. It doesn't sound good when you say, allow me to go, allow me to come. So instead of using allow, we can use let. That's more like daily life conversation. If you say allow me to go, that means you are asking permission. So how can we replace allow? You can simply say let me go. That means please allow me to go. Let him come. What does that mean? Allow him to come. Let them go. What does that mean? Please allow them to go. Give them permission. Just note the sentence allow me to go. And when I replace allow with let, these changes happen. Instead of allow, I am using let. So allow me to go. Here, let me go. So we just omitted to. So what's the structure? Let plus me. Me is object pronoun. Okay. So after let, we always use object pronoun. Confused, isn't it? Let me clear. <laughs> okay. Now I use let. Let me clear. Please allow me to clear. Normally, when you learn structures, subject comes in the beginning, then verb, that's the order. But here, after let, object is coming. Why? For that, first you have to understand the difference between object and subject. Subject means the doer of an action. And object means the receiver of an action. Since you are receiving the permission, you have to use object pronoun. Look at the sentence. Let him go. Who is getting the permission? Him. So him is the object. So here him represents a person who gets a permission. So we have to use him. In this type of sentence, the person asking for permission is represented after let. And another major difference is in the sentence allow me to go, we use to go. Allow me to come, allow me to write, allow them to go. So here we use to go, to come, to write. But with let, we just omit to and we use just that V1 form. It's called infinitive without to. You just fix that let plus object pronoun plus V1 form. That's all. Now we will learn the use of let's. It's a short form of let us. It's used to give suggestions and offers in which we ourselves are involved. Suppose we are traveling and the time is about 1 p.m. and you are feeling very hungry and you can say like this, come on, stop, let's have lunch. That's a suggestion. It's an indirect way of telling others what they should do. And at the time of paying the bill, you can say, let's share. It's an offer. You can tell your husband, let's go for a drive. So here we are not asking permission. We are giving suggestion and offers. And to form negative sentence, just add not after let's. Let's not argue. People are coming to argue with you. And you can say, let's not argue. And if you want to give some advice, you can say, let's not forget the sacrifice of our parents. And you can also start the sentence with don't. Suppose you know that your friends are going to do some mischiefs. You can go and report your teacher and ask her, ma'am, please don't let them do that. So please don't let them do that. That means don't allow them to do that. Ma'am, please don't let them come here. It means don't allow them. So these are the basic usages of let and let's for asking permission, for giving suggestions and offers. Is that clear? So now what you have to do is, so you have to frame five sentences from all these categories and put it in the comment box. And if you like this video, don't forget to give a like. Please let me know your opinion. So if you want to speak English, please practice. Don't forget that. So with this note, 
let me wind up this video so see you in the next video until then take care bye bye sadguru sharanam